Using very advanced technology and procedures, archaeologists discovered the biggest snake in the world in 2024. But where exactly you might encounter this 33-foot snake? With that, scientists discovered the biggest snake that's ever lived on the Earth, which is a 45-foot snake that could compete with dinosaurs and was eating everything on its way. These are some mind-boggling discoveries, so let's explain everything. So, a massive 33-foot-long anaconda scared builders at a construction site in Brazil. The workers found this huge snake, weighing 63 stones, after doing a controlled explosion in the cave of Altamira in the northern state of Para. A video recorded by one of the workers shows the snake's big body, which is about one meter wide. After finding the scary snake, the workers tied it to a crane and lifted it up to show its yellow-spotted underside. It's interesting to point out that people criticize this action in the comments on various platforms. Some say the builders killed the snake instead of letting it stay in its natural home, but this hasn't been confirmed. We should also point out that Medusa, a snake in Kansas City, holds the record for being the longest snake in captivity at 25 feet and 2 inches. Furthermore, in 1960, a big discovery happened in Venezuela. A massive 33-foot-long anaconda was found. This news was surprising because Venezuela was already known for its mysterious and unusual rainforests and unexplored areas. As people heard about this giant snake, it made them more and more interested in the Amazon and its hidden secrets. After the snake was found, news quickly spread that people in a faraway village in Venezuela saw the huge snake and took pictures of it. Even though the pictures were not very clear, they seemed to prove that the snake was real. Scientists, reporters, and snake lovers hurried to the area to check if the discovery was true. In 1960, much of the Amazon was not explored like it is now, with thick trees, big rivers, and native tribes who didn't have much contact with the outside world. This made the place even more mysterious. In that kind of environment, finding a super big creature seemed very possible. The Amazon has always been revealing new kinds of animals, and finding the 33-foot anaconda was not only exciting for snake lovers, but for everyone interested in the Amazon's unique creatures. Also, a recent discovery of the biggest ever snake shocked the scientific community. A discovery that was published in the journal Nature changed everything we knew about the history of animals. This giant snake, the biggest ever, lived about 6 million years after the scary Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was as long as a school bus and as heavy as a small car. Scientists found parts of its skeleton in Colombia, and they named it Titanoboa serejonensis. The snake's bones suggest it was around 42 to 45 feet long, similar to the T-Rex named Sue in Chicago's Field Museum. This discovery was published in the journal Nature. Bloch, who co-led the expedition with Carlos Caramillo, a paleobotanist from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama, said, Truly enormous snakes really spark people's imagination. But reality has exceeded the fantasies of Hollywood. The snake that tried to eat Jennifer Lopez in the movie Anaconda is not as big as the one we found. This is a snake that was over 40 feet long and weighed more than a ton. This huge snake resembled a boa constrictor you might see today, but it acted more like the anaconda that lives in the water. It lived in swamps and was a powerful hunter, capable of eating any animal it set its sights on. The thickest part of its body would be almost as tall as a grown man's waist. Jason Head, a scientist who studies ancient fossils at the University of Toronto in Mississauga and the main writer of the paper, talked about Titanoboa like this. The snake's body was so wide that if it were moving down the hall and decided to come into my office to eat me, it would literally have to squeeze through the door. While on the journey, the researchers discovered lots of big turtles and ancient crocodile bones. These creatures were probably eaten by the snake, according to him. Titanoboa was a cold-blooded creature meaning its body temperature depended on the temperature of its surroundings. Cold-blooded animals like reptiles can grow larger in warmer places because they can absorb more energy to keep their bodies working properly. That's why insects, reptiles, and amphibians are often bigger in tropical areas than in cooler ones. So, in a way, the extreme heat in its habitat made Titanoboa a giant snake. This idea also explains why ancient turtles and lungfish in Serajan were much bigger than their modern relatives. In 2005, Researchers at the Nuclear Physics Institute in St. Petersburg, Russia, studied the relationship between the body size of cold-blooded animals and the temperature around them. They found that by looking at the sizes of different species at various temperatures, they could estimate the temperatures of the past using fossils. Scientists Head and Bloch used the Russian study and information about today's anacondas in the Amazon to figure out that Titanoboa would have needed really warm temperatures to survive in ancient Serajan. 
and Joe Rogan got really interested when they found a super big anaconda in the Amazon. He talked about it a lot on his podcast, bringing in experts and people who saw it. They discussed more than just the snake's size, like its habits, and how it fits into the Amazon's health. Rogan also talked about bigger issues like deforestation, unknown species, and the balance between people, companies, and protecting the environment. Rogan's guest, Paul Rosalie, has shared stories of his own encounters with anacondas in the Amazon. In one instance, he described coming face to face with a large anaconda while swimming in a river. He has also spoken about the time he helped to capture and measure a massive anaconda that was later named Titan. According to Paul, people told him also about their encounters with 60-foot anacondas. And that's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.